I don't think I'm going to actually remove all that. I just don't think it really matters. How to fix your broken iPhone screen part two. Now why aren't you going to remove it all? Because you just put more sticky stuff over it and it gets covered by, you know, the, the black on the glass so you can't see it anyway. So I think I'm just going to leave it on there. I'm reading a magazine while he works. The saver, the sandwich issue. So what are you doing now? Um, mm. The new glass has all these uh, layers of film on it. Oh, three of them? To protect it from... You know, broken in the middle? Well, I think fingerprints and scratches and stuff. Mm. So, you want to take those off. In fact, I think when I replaced mine, I think I didn't take off that inside piece. And now it's... It's okay, it still works, it's just not as, uh, not as clear as it could be, probably. Could you just go and open it back up and take it off? Yeah, I could. Are you going to? I don't know. Maybe I should. Yeah. So I like to just take off the inside pieces and leave the outside ones on for as long as possible, just to avoid, I don't know, maybe it's kind of... My analness coming out. <laughs> Being a little bit anal about the fingerprints. <laughs> what are those little stickers for? This is what makes the glass stick to the original frame that oh, you have to keep. That's the glue? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's just like a 3M sticker. Oh. And they conveniently cut the uh, perfect. I see to fit perfectly on the, on the new glass. Yes. No, on the frame, I guess. Yeah. I put it on the frame first. I guess you could do the glass, but... Because this is the frame, right? Yeah. And that is my new glass. This is our fancy tool to get this little six screws out, and it's magnetized. Here are our little screws. 